Hello friends, welcome to Learner's Planet. Friends, this is our second practice session on the topic is, am and are. In the previous practice session, that was practice session 1, we um, had, you know, solved many exercises. We had filled many blanks with either of them, which would actually make, which would actually convey a sense out of the sentence. We used negatives, negative forms of these and positive forms of these. In this session, we'll take even more exercises, but um, it will be much more higher than the previous one. And I hope before coming to this practice session, you went through the basics of is, am, and are and saw the previous practice session or else you'll be a bit confused, right? So let us begin. So friends, this is the very first exercise that we have over here. See the following pictures carefully and answer the questions so on the basis of these two pictures and we have a few more pictures we're supposed to answer the questions which will be following right so over here we have a soldier his name is Vijay we have a doctor named Anu and a patient a baby boy patient named as Kittu we have a teacher named Amrita we have an astronaut named as Joel. We have a judge named as Mr. Raman. And we have two singers named Ravina and Kavi respectively. So now that we know all the people that we have over here with their names, we'll begin with the exercise. So here we start. Um, friends, you just pause the session before you know like okay we have these answers highlighted over here but still you can just refer the pictures and answer it in the correct form it should be answered in the form of either yes he is or no he isn't is is for positive isn't is for negative is not right so is mr raman a soldier over here we had seen that mr raman was a judge so no he isn't are Ravina and Kavi singers so where are Ravina and Kavi here yes they are is Amrita near the board so here we have Amrita yes she is is Kittu Dr. Anu's friend Let's see. No. Kittu over here is a patient. He is not Dr. Anu's friend. Therefore, no, he isn't. Is Vijay an astronaut? Where is Vijay? No, Vijay is a soldier. So, no, he isn't. Is Mr. Raman in the court? Yes, he is. So this was a very pretty, it was pretty easy, right? So I hope that when you matched your answers, they would have been like, they would have been similar to mine. So we'll hop on to the next exercise. So exercise two over here is, Read about Mr. Shomu and write short answers to the questions below. So here is his description. My name is Shomu. I am from Pune. I am 50 years old. I am a tailor. My wife is a teacher. My daughter is a doctor. My son is in the army. He is a soldier. My sister is a painter. My younger brother is a chef. Our house is very big. So after we read all these details about Mr. Shomu and his family and his lifestyle, we are supposed to answer the questions that are followed. Right? So let us start. Question to Mr. Shomu. Are you from Mumbai? Let's see where he is from. I am from Pune. No, he isn't from Mumbai. 
that means he'll answer no i am not or no i'm not is your son a doctor let's see my son is in the army so no he isn't is your wife a teacher my wife is a teacher so he'll answer yes she is are you over 40 that means that is he more is his age more than 40 years old so over here we have i am 50 years old so it means yes he is over 40 years old so he'll answer yes i am is your daughter a dancer so over here we have the answer my daughter is a doctor so that means no she isn't a dancer so he'll answer no she isn't so this exercise was also pretty simple it was it was the same as the previous exercise right so i hope these things are clear the way a first person answers and the way a second person answers are two different things right so over here mr shomu was answering questions when a person asked him directly that's why at a few of few few places he has used i am or i am not right so we'll go to the next exercise now okay so we have the next exercise here now read about ravina and kavi and write questions for the answers below okay so now we're supposed to read about them and we'll be given answers and then we are supposed to write questions on the basis of their answers so that the answer are relevant they make sense when the question is asked and they give the right answer for that right so let's read my name is kavi and she is my wife ravina we are from chandigarh i am 22 years old and my wife is 20 we are singers my father is a doctor and my mother is a housewife they are always very busy a house is old but it's very big so now that we've read this passage we'll form questions so that they make sense and the answer is relevant to the questions so once again you can pause the session and uh, before i actually you know read out the answers or tell you what the question should be you should take a pen and paper and write them down right so here we have we supposed to put the question while the answer is given so the first one is your name anuj so the answer will be no it's kavi so the question over here it makes sense are you from chandigarh Yes, we are. Are you thirty years old? No, I am twenty-two. Is your wife's name Ravina? Yes, her name is Ravina. Is your father a doctor? Yes, he is. Is your mother a teacher? No, she isn't. Is your house small? no it's very big so over here the questions that we formed were matching to the answer that means the answer was giving the sense of the question right so it was right so one more exercise over here comes to an end now we'll go to the next exercise fifth exercise look at this telephone conversation and put the correct forms of b in the gaps b form has is am and are right so let's start jaya hello this is jaya tom hello this is tom are kavi and Rav ravi there are is used over here because we are talking about two people right if we talked only about kavi or only about ravi we would we would have asked is kavi there or is ravi there but we have two people that's why r is used 
Yes, they are. Please wait for a moment. Kavi. Hello, this is Kavi. Ravi. Is here too. Tom. Are you busy? Kavi. No, we aren't. Because over here he's saying no, that means that he isn't busy. You have you're supposed to relate what the people are talking with the previous line so that you can actually make some useful sentence, useful conversation. Tom, good. Are you hungry? Kavi, yes, I am. Tom, is Ravi hungry? Kavi, yes, he is. Tom, good. Come and have dinner with me. I am in a very good Chinese restaurant. The name of the restaurant is the Chinatown. Kavi. Okay, great. That is a nice idea. Is it far from our house? No, it isn't. Or no, it is on the highway. Only. Kavi. Ravi, is that okay? Ravi. Yes, let's go. Tom. Goodbye. See you soon. So over here, in this exercise, we used negative forms like aren't or isn't. And we used positive form that is, are, etc. Right? So this was nice exercise and easy. So now this is the next exercise. We're supposed to see the pictures below. And we're supposed to answer the questions that is asked. That is asked, right? So, over here, this is the first picture. He is Aryan. Is he happy? Does he look happy? No. So, we'll answer, no, he isn't. He is Mr. Sharma. Is he shocked? Yes, he is. He is Montu Monkey. Is he happy? Yes, he is. He is Deepu. Is he confused? Yes, he is. So this way we saw the pictures and we answered the question that was asked. Over here you are supposed to answer the questions by looking at the people's faces or the expressions they give. Right? So, um, so friends, we end this session over here. I hope... The things are more and more clear to you as we move on to the next sessions. Please, please do practice this session and the previous session. And if you have any doubts, you can even go through the sessions, the recorded sessions of Is M and R, where I've explained uh, everything in detail. So I'll see you in the next session, the next practice session. Um, bye.